Hey there, it's Andrew Murray here, and I want to give you a real training on keywords. Now, keywords are something people often misunderstand. Uh, what we're going to do is we're just going to start a new project here, and um, we'll just call it MLM, uh, and, uh, and create that project. Now, the thing that you have to really understand is that keywords are the basis for all online marketing. No matter what you're going to do, it's going to be dependent on, on keywords. And that's why it's really important to, to really understand how keywords work and you know the psychology behind what people are typing in. And it's important to realize that you're not going to guess what people are typing in and how frequently they type it in. What you want to do is you want to let Google and you want to let keyword tools um, tell you what people are typing in, how many people are typing in, and what the competition is. And then you can decide if that's a keyword that, that you want to target or not. So. We're here on Market Samurai. This is the de facto tool for um, network marketing for uh, for keyword you know research. Period. Um, everyone uses it, and there there is a free trial, so you should be able to uh, uh, to try it out and just see how powerful it is for yourself. But my philosophy when I'm doing keywords is I want to do a a I want to focus on a, on a particular theme. Okay, um, you know, so if I was going after you know, direct sales or, uh, uh, you know, per, a certain type of, of product, I'll do a whole project on that one area. And in this, in this example, I'm going to be using MLM. So that's a very broad area. And then what I do is I want to go and create a very broad keyword list. So I have more options to choose from. Right, because if, if you start with 20 keywords and then you're trying to find the best of those 20 keywords to target, you know you're fishing in a very small pool. If you have, you know, 100 or 200 or more keywords, then you can easily, you know, see what's going to look at all the competition, see what's going to be the easiest for you to target, what's going to be relevant for you, and then make the best decision from that. So, what you do is you you basically go into the uh, the keyword research module. And uh, you're going to type in, you know, your your main keywords. So MLM, no marketing, magnetic sponsoring, that kind of thing. Okay. So you add the keywords in, and then you want to um, uh, include additional keywords. And you will click on uh, where it says here, generate keywords. What this will do, this will access the Google Keyword Tool, okay, uh, which you can also access uh, outside of Market Samurai. You can just go to Google External Keyword Tool, just do a search for that, and then you will uh, you'll find it. So what this is going to do is it's going to pull up bu a bunch of uh, uh, responses from the Google Keyword Tool. And, uh, and and give you some suggestions to work work from. All right, so it's pulled in a bunch of, of different keywords here um, that are that are all you know MLM network marketing. And you know for this example, you know I mean you really can dig deeper into a lot of these keywords, but. Um, you know what I want to do is 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 kind of really show you the the nuts and bolts of of you know the analysis and how that works. So we don't want to go too broad here um, in the beginning. So then you're going to click on keyword analysis, or I should say, uh, back to keyword generation. If there's things that you think are, are not relevant uh, to you, like uh, business MLM, you can just click on X. And that will take out all the references to, you know, business MLM. And you know, also you can, uh, uh, you know, just exclude anything that you want here. Um, here's where you can add new keywords in as well. And um, but let's go in, let's go into the keyword analysis. What I do when I'm doing research is I'm going to check all these boxes, every one of them. Uh, because I really want to know what 
uh, uh, what you know what what the results are for everything and I always change this to phrase match this is what I do personally and monthly because I'm not doing really competitive stuff if I was doing ultra competitive stuff like you know weight loss or Viagra then I might look at the the daily stats um, you know if you're comfortable more with, with daily or weekly or monthly just go with whatever you feel best about the reason I choose monthly is because it, it gives me higher numbers and then there's more difference between the numbers you see if you if if you were doing daily you know the differences between two a day and three a day you know that's that's not a lot of difference in in my mind whereas monthly it's gonna it's gonna you know uh, exaggerate that difference and make it easier for you to kind of understand what you what you want to uh, to search for um, so I generally click on no filters first and then what I'm gonna do is uh, again click phrase right phrase match um, monthly and you'll see that the search engine traffic this is how much traffic you can expect if you're in the number one position so 12 a day um, you know you see all these numbers are, are pretty uh, pretty similar but when you change it to monthly I just find those numbers a lot easier to kind of you know gauge the differences between so what we're gonna do is we're gonna select all these options up here and you'll see that it's already searched for some of them it already knows you know the number of searches and the uh, phrase of broad match but I'm gonna click analyze keywords and what this is gonna do is this is going to you know just go through all these keywords and grab all this data and this does take a while so I'm gonna pause the video here but when I come back you know we'll have a lot more data to look at and then I'll show you how you can really start uh, start targeting different keywords all right so we're back and you can see that we've got a lot of uh, data here that we can go through and basically you know the first thing I guess is, is it's, it's important to understand what these different columns are okay so uh, this is the people who search for this keyword monthly on Google Ser SEO traffic is the, the the amount of clicks that you get if you were in number one uh, position you know based on on normal click-through data phrase to broad match um, basically what this is if it's if it's high generally speaking it's it's in the correct order because sometimes Google kind of shuffles the order if it's low like this um, you know just look at it and see if you think it's in the right order this clearly is in is in the right order um, this is a good example 24% so marketing MLM I'm sure some people type that in but um, you know just just kind of be aware of that that's kind of something that you just want to keep your eye out for search engine competition the number of web pages that um, you know have that keyword phrase in quotes and ideally when you're starting out you want to be looking for for sites that that have very low competition you know I would say under under 300 uh, or under 30,000 um, competition uh, so here would be one just over uh, just over five and I wouldn't worry so much you know initially about uh, see this one MLM online software very low competition you know be easy to uh, to monetize and uh, the SEO traffic this is the um, you know uh, sorry title these are the, the the number of sites that have that actually in the in the title and as you can see it's it's extremely low um, you know sometimes you do need to click these uh, just because Google doesn't like you know some of these automated things but you know you can check things really fast okay um, SEO UC is um, you know the same word order in the uh, in the URL and uh, click-through rate this is basically a ratio so a low score can indicate weak competition in a market so rather than kind of looking at the straight numbers it kind of gives you a, a, uh, something that you can easily kind of uh, check and, and, and verify against so as an example let's do a couple of these up here and you'll see that you know there's a lot of uh, 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 URLs with multi-level marketing in them uh, trends I don't really worry about trends because I, I'm not really going after seasonal markets 
So don't worry about that. AdWords traffic. Uh, basically, these are just metrics to kind of show you, based on you know the AdWords account, you know what kind of value is. And this is an interesting one. You know, basically the monthly value of a number one site in, in, in Google, how much that could be worth in terms of income based on what people are, are paying for it on AdWords. So, you know, again, a lot of these metrics are just there to kind of give you an idea. But as I said, keyword research is a science. So you need to get comfortable, you know, with yourself and, you know, being able to, to, to pick stuff that is uh, that's low competition. Now, they have a couple of these uh, system filters that are already built in. Okay, the golden rules, um, you know, is one that's really more for niche marketing because it, it, it's finding, you know, big openings. Um, and so when I click that, none of these keywords, you know, came with the, with the golden rule, which is fine. Uh, long tail, this is a long tail keyword based on their, their criteria that you could go after, um, you know, and, uh, and that's fine. I, I again, like... Uh, like looking at the uh, all the data and then deciding that for myself okay so once you've got a keyword that uh, that you like let me just fill these columns back in the market samurai goes through updates all the time so you know if, if I haven't used it for like you know half a week there'll be an update uh, which is good because there's always you know, new uh, uh, new traffic coming in, and again, what I selected here was a very very broad, you know, um, uh, keyword list. Let me give you a, a, another tip here. All right, and I use a, a, an actual tool for this, but you know, say you're stuck for a keyword, right? And you know, all you can think of is is MLM. You know, what are you going to do? What you can do is when you go to Google. And then you type that in and you press space, it's going to give you suggestions. Okay. And there is a way, there, there are some tools out there uh, that I use personally that will scrape all these suggestions. So it'll look at, you know, MLM A and then search for all these and then MLM B and then, you know, search for all these and then MLM C. Okay. This is Google Suggest. And so you see there's a lot of different, you know, keywords that you can get. And generally what I'm doing is, I make a huge list like that, and then I bring it into uh, to Market Samurai. Another keyword tool, if you're stuck, uh, you can use the Wonder Wheel, okay? And this will kind of give related uh, uh, things. So you know, it's oftentimes in different word, uh, different words. So let's let's try personal development. Okay, so you know, self development, personal growth. Um, you know, so you can click on personal growth, get some ideas about this, uh, you know, spiritual personal growth, you know, um, and so, and so you can kind of go in all these different directions and, you know, get, uh, get tips. So let's, you know, think and, and grow rich, for example. Think you grow rich. What books are related to Think You Grow Rich? And then you can click on, you know, Napoleon Hill, and um, you know, oh, the laws of success, you know, and so it just kind of gives you, you know, different ideas that you can uh, that you can use. Another interesting thing you can do is if you're stuck for keywords, is you can go right to the uh, the Google external tool. And you can type in uh, and, and search by a, a URL. Okay, so instead of typing the keywords here, like you normally would, what you can type in is HTTP colon slash www dot seven figure networker dot com. Okay, for example, give you some ideas uh, let's type in something else. Okay, mlmblog.net. Uh, blog, sorry. Blog.net. And here we go. So this is good because it gives you things that are 
like the keyword is MLM and, and blog, you know, so obviously MLM blog, but also things that are that are not, uh, you know, not listed directly in there. And it gets this from the meta tags and, and uh, you know, the content on these pages. Uh, so Ty Tribble, he's a guy who, uh, you know, runs MLM blog. It gives you different things, okay? Uh, Global Information Network, that's the name of a company. Um, you know, Fortune High Tech Marketing. You see, that would not come in in, in, a, in a normal search, you know, with uh, just with keywords. And this is a great example of using all these uh, keywords and then getting more results than you than you normally would. Uh, Rita Davenport, I don't even know who that is, but you know she's probably a network marketing trainer. So just as an example, this is what you can do. You can uh, download all of them into CSV and uh, then open them. And let's grab all these keywords here, okay, that were related. And again, I mean, you can see if, if you did this for, you know, five or six, you know, hub sites in in uh, in the network marketing industry, you know, that would give you some uh, uh, some cool stuff. So you can just go back to the keyword analysis, you know, go down to the bottom and Control V to paste all those in, and then click Add Keywords, and we have a bunch more keywords. And when we click on Analysis over here and you scroll down, you'll see all these ones that have no data. Okay, these, these uh, the duplicates, you know, that were in that, that list that we just did are gonna be here anyhow. But these ones are all new keywords that we didn't have before. And so there's quite a few of them. And so what you wanna do, again, is, you know, analyze the keywords. So I'm gonna do this one more time and pause this video while it does the analysis and then we'll come back and really dig in a little bit deeper. Okay, so uh, what happened is Google actually timed me out, I guess, from uh, too many searches at, at my uh, address. So it won't give me these details right now, which, uh, you know, is kind of a pain. It's one of the things that you have to do with, with Google. But I want to move on and show you really what I, uh, what I look for. This is the, the easiest thing for me, search engine competition, okay? And you can see that, you know, um, anything under, anything under 30,000, like 30,000 and below and lower is really not competitive at all. Um, so that's where I like people to start off with, okay? If they, if they uh, you know, are trying to create content that's gonna score in the search engines. As you get better, you can move up. You can move up to 40s, and then into the 50s, and then into the to the 60s, and you know all the way to about 100. And that's what I would say 100,000. That's what I would say for you know um, a beginner. Okay, when you start using uh, tools where you're getting a lot of backlinks in, and you know some more advanced stuff, then you can come up here to you know 200, 250. Basically, just opens up more doors. But what I want you to do is really focus just, just on some of these ones uh, down here. And one of the reasons I say keywords is an art is, is it's, a, it's a trade off because you'll find some have more searches, but maybe more difficult to optimize for. You know, these people uh, may be looking for, there might be a site there, mlm.com, that they're trying to go back and, and look for. And that's really all they're, they're looking for. So I'm not going to go down you know, the first page, um, you know, MLM forums, 880 searches, you know, relatively low competition, um, you know, so that seems like, uh, like a good one. And again, if we, if we had been able to kind of get the data for these ones, and we will be able to, you know, you just come in later and, uh, you know, click analyze again, it's going to get all the, all the data, but, um, you know, Sometimes Google will just block your, your IP for a certain amount of time, and it's just a, a pain. Now this one, you can see that there's 140 searches, which is really, really good, um, you know, super low competition. That would be a great one to, to create uh, content for. Um, you know, and so there's a balance between how competitive it is 
and how many searches. Obviously, all things being equal, these two are, are equally competitive, but this one, forums, gets twice as many searches as MLM softwares. Okay, and this is pretty much competitive, and this gets you know three times as many searches as, as MLM softwares. So, you know, there's all these kind of trade-offs. Um, you know, another interesting thing here is you know the, the search engine value of this one's actually the highest. You know, probably because there's a lot more money in, in software than there is in, in forums. So, you know, uh, people are paying three dollars per click here, where they're only paying a dollar sixteen for uh, for that keyword. So, that's pretty interesting. So, let's say you know we wanted to, to uh, uh, target this keyword. All that you do is you click on uh, the little key. And that creates a separate tab up here where you're really just focusing on this one keyword. And this allows you to get into other uh, you know, modules like Rank Tracker, uh, uh, Monetization. But for the purpose of keywords, what we really want to do is just do an analysis of the, uh, the competition. And so we'll just click Generate Results. And as this is coming in, you can start to see things uh, filling in in the background. And basically, uh, you know, the red is competitive, the yellow is, you know, moderate, and the green means it's really easy. And again, this is an art, so there's, you know, always going to be a range. And you can just kind of look in and, and, and you know, you'll get to become you want to start trusting your own judgment about this this sort of thing uh, domain age you know that's that's not really as relevant here it shows the the PR page rank uh, this is the number of links that uh, number of pages indexed on that domain so this is a, a measure of you know authority obviously you know better networker there are 178,000 pages that are indexed okay so that's that makes that a real authority site or is this one here? You know, there's only uh, one. Um, but then the the referring domains, uh, that's that's links from from other domains back to it. Um, backlinks on the page. This particular page that is ranking, how many backlinks go into that page? And when I see low numbers here, like nine, nineteen, zero, two hundred and seven, zero. To me, that seems like something that's that's really achievable. Um, these are backlinks to the to the domain, okay, as opposed to the page, okay. So, for example, in, in this example, there's 19 links going to, you know, this particular page, MLM-training-forum-f1, whereas there's, you know, 761 backlinks to, you know, um, BetterNetworker.com. And then uh, you can also see whether the the title is optimized. And a lot of these don't even have MLM forums in the title tag. Okay, that's what that's what all these no says. No, it's not in the title. It's not in the URL. It's not in the description. It's not in the in the in the header tags. Um, you know, like H1, H2, that kind of thing. And uh, yeah, so that's pretty cool. It also allows you to add a custom URL. Okay, so you can see where your own um, you know, I'm just picking a site here where your own uh, URL is. And so you can see, you know, in comparison, you know, where 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 this uh, this particular URL lines up, so that's pretty interesting. And then the other really important module for uh, uh, keywords. Okay, some of these other ones you know allow you to find content. You know, so you can get backlinks quickly to uh, to build your your uh, the backlinks into your particular page. You know, find articles on that topic, that kind of thing. Um, and another video will will go into that. But basically, what this allows you to do 
is to track your your keywords right so it allows you to add domains okay so this is an old site that that I have and it allows you to add specific URLs okay and the URLs you need to add uh, well basically you need to add in the keywords that you're that you're going for so in here you'd add the particular keywords that you want to actually rank for that you've chosen okay these are the ones that I'm gonna you know go to bat with and and uh, you know um, dominate for so you put the keywords in and then it actually allows you to, to add a URL and uh, then you just select what keyword you want it to, to go to. Now this URL is interesting because it will track the rank of your web 2.0 properties. So if you have an Easing Articles or you have a Squidoo Lens or you have a YouTube video that's on this keyword, you put it in here, you click which, which keywords um, you, know, it's, it's, uh, you want to check for and you click cancel or you click OK. And then basically every time you click update rank data, it's going to rank and, and, and tell you where you are for that particular keyword. So it will search, you know, and um, and basically tell you. So this, uh, my site is not found for the for the term MLM forums anywhere. Okay, it's not, uh, it's not ranked. That's a really important module because what you can do is every week or two, you can come in and see where you are ranked, see if you're falling off, see if you're, you know, the number one. And this is pretty important because sometimes I go after keywords and I'll go after multiple listings on the first page. So it'll say, you know, number one, and then and then for the same keyword, a different domain, you know, will be number three, um, you know, and, and that's a way that you can, uh, can really track that. So what you wanna do is, you know, get, get Market Samurai, um, you know, and really kind of go after marketing um, and, 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 and keyword research. And the way you do that is you practice, you know, practice in, in different niches. I mean, you know, uh, that's how you get good. And even just doing some practice, like going into, you know, a tennis niche or a golf niche or, or you know, water heaters or whatever it may be, Something that just gets you to practice and gets you looking at the keywords um, is a good thing. The best thing to do is to do it in, in you know, related markets, you know, so you can go into, um, you know, different aspects of, of, of home business and, and, and marketing. And, you know, you'll get a feel for, you know, the different numbers that, uh, that you have here. And, you know, again, once you start getting, uh, getting all this data and looking at it, Easiest thing is just to sort sort by what's got the least competition based on this, and then pick out a few keywords. You know, pick out five or ten that you're going to really go after and you're really going to dominate with. So, after watching this video, you know you have everything in your power to be able to go out and really dominate and really understand how to use keywords to dominate your business. So, uh, I'll see you in the next video.